Yeah, so uh, the behind the scenes, the uh, the rumors surrounding the record being haunted. It's uh, kind of a funny to bring this up, your question, but um, in a couple of different ways, it, there was some definitely some odd things that happened in the making of the record. Uh, one in particular, as I look at the record, um, the cover was done in New Orleans, and um, we had gone up. We it was sort of New Orleans had become a, sort of a home away from home for us. We sort of were uh, became friends, fast and famous friends with a bunch of folks down there that took us under their wing and showed us their their New Orleans, which was great. And as a musician, that was incredibly uh, an incredible learning experience. But um, when we were trying to come up with the cover, we actually had the idea of we had heard the legendary story of Lee Morgan and how he passed away on a bandstand, I guess, where there was a I I think it was a sort of a, I think his wife or girlfriend or something shot him on the bandstand. We did this legendary story. It was like horrible. Um, and then we were like, geez, you know, we were talking about that one night in the van driving across the country. Like, wow, that would make a crazy cover. Very like sort of uh, sort of uh, film noir, do it black and white, very kind of, uh, you know, dark looking. Um, but when we were putting together the idea for the, the, the cover, a friend of ours who is a professional filmmaker in L.A., she contacted a friend of hers that uh, was a professional photographer, well-known photographer down in New Orleans to take the photos for it. And um, we found this creepy old um, motel, hotel in New Orleans, or I think just outside of New Orleans. And we got the room. We saw the, the front of the building look crazy. We got a room there. We set it all up, ready to go. And we told the, the photographer the ideas. They were on board. The person was on board. And the last minute, they pulled the plug on it. They were like, you know, I got to say, I, I don't know what to say, but I got really bad vibes about this stuff. Something's freaking me out about this. It gives me the creeps about this. I don't know what it is, but I got to pull the plug. I can't do the project. And this is at the last minute. We set the thing up. We had the day off, which is a novelty on the road. So we were... Uh, sort of hard pressed to figure out how we we're going to you know, do this. And if, luckily a friend of ours uh, had a decent camera and uh, she lived in this beautiful old Victorian sort of house that uh, her family had and they were collectors. So they had collect collections of, you know, old maps of New Orleans or, you know, crazy animal skulls and just crazy stuff. So when we went there, we often would stay there on the road and it was like a museum in itself, kind of a creepy, cool museum down there. So it kind of was like the perfect setting if, you know, option A didn't work out, option B went. We went with that, and uh, that was the cover of the record. This was actually in our friend Rebecca's bedroom, and as like all old, the old furniture and whatnot. But that's a kind of a weird story, yeah, because like I said, like the woman was a professional and then pulled the plug at the last minute, which is very strange. The vibes were... Completely. And in fact, as you look in the, co in the record... You know, there's all this uh, pictures of cemeteries and stuff. And we got the idea of, we jumped a fence actually in New Orleans. Our, our friend brought us to this, this off, off, the, off track, sort of off the track uh, cemetery that's not sort of touristy, you know. Yeah. And uh, we went over there and we jumped the fence, I recall. And we went in there with our suits. So people, if they were look, driving by, like, well, what are these people in suits? You know, in a cemetery, if it was like a, I guess What's a funeral or whatever, as it were. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But we went there and we got the idea of shooting photographs in a cemetery because of course in uh, Easy Rider there's a scene where they're all tripping in the cemetery and, and it's like this crazy stuff and of course I think it's the water the, um, the fact that the groundwater you, you dig down in New Orleans and the, the water table is such I believe that within a few feet you're hitting water, groundwater so all the, all the tombs are above ground so it lends a really sort of creepy air to the whole thing. Yeah. And plus seeing that, that movie, we saw it when we were staying at our friend Rebecca's in New Orleans. Uh, so that night after our gig at the Maple Leaf, we're like, wow, you got Easy Ride, let's watch that. We yeah. haven't watched that in years. And there's a scene in the cemetery. It's so like, man, we gotta, let's take some photographs in the cemetery. So inside one of the, while we were taking photos, we took a whole bunch of photos there. As you can see, there's a whole bunch might not be able to see of us and whatever. But one that comes to mind is really kind of creepy is the only photograph that, we, that didn't really come out, but it came out, was this one that we put on the CD, but also on the vinyl, is this one in this light, 
coursing right through the photograph. And this is before like a lot of like we could, you know, sort of fix it, you know, in the classic, you know, nowadays with like computer programs or whatever to lighten it up or whatever, or darken it up, I should say. But uh, it was the only photograph, and it was in front of this oddball tomb yeah. that was in the cemetery uh, that was off, off the, the main, main drag. But it was definitely, we thought, geez, this is really creepy. Like I, and the photographer couldn't figure out how this happened because every, every other photos before and after were com perfectly fine. It wasn't like they altered, they didn't open up the back of the, right. of the camera, light leak or, the light leak or anything else. It was just this strange, unexplained thing. So like, geez, that's perfect. You know, like, you know, uh, you know perfect uh, accident as it were, but very strange. And the other thought in terms of the haunted aspect of it is we did some uh, overdubs in L.A. at the very end at Blood Clot Studios uh, in L.A. And apparently the building that we, that we were recording in uh, was like this old house that I think was, uh, was designed by a person that was worked under Frank Lloyd Wright. So it's a very modern, strange building, very modern a modernist building. Tim Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the rumor was, of course, in the hallway or in that certain areas that there was, it was haunted. At least that was the rumor that the former occupants said, oh, yeah, man, be careful there. It's a little definitely strange. So recording there was strange because you're in the hallway and you definitely got some weird vibes in there. I can, to, to a man, to us all, we're like, man, this is something. Yeah. Something's weird as you go down into the studio and where we recorded the horns. I think on, yes, it's true. It was... Uh, we're looking over our shoulder half the right. time as we're recording. We're like, hey, "Did you hear that? Yeah, just keep playing. Yeah. Just keep playing. It's good. <laughs> nothing to hear. Nothing to see. Nothing to hear here. You know." Um, but yeah, that was some of the stuff that I I recall. You know, even like Vic in front of this tomb. There was one where he just sort of jumped. It was a crypt that was cracked open that he kind of popped into, just kind of messing around. Like, ah, that's probably not a good idea to yeah, be. Uh, you know. Seems right, though, yeah, you know. In the scheme. But yeah, they, like I said, that's kind of some stories surrounding the actual artwork of the record that I can recall, sort of the haunted version of the question, as it were. So we'll get you back for another installment. We'll talk about the uh, we'll talk about we'll talk on about the that's the next installment. We need to go to the subliminal messages or backwards messages that are all over the record. Awesome. I'll I'll uh, you know reveal a few of them. But not all. Of them. No, no, that's up to you. That's up have, to you. We gotta have that's a headphones record. That's a headphones record, exactly. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure.